Mark Feinstein is the executive reporter for MLB.com and, of course, one of our insiders here at the network. Mark, what can you tell us about what the Mets offer was compared to the Dodgers? The Mets offer was a little higher in terms of total guaranteed dollars, uh, three years, $110 million. The way it was structured was $40 million in the first year, $40 million in the second year, $30 million in the third year. Uh, so a higher uh, salary in that third year, but $5 million less on the front two years. Opt-outs after the first two. So you look at it as a two-year 80 if he opts out after two, whereas the Dodgers, it's two years and 85. Um, so the, the, the money was right there. At the end of the day, you know, I think going home to California probably had some allure to Bauer, and the offers were pretty darn close. Hey, Mark, what moves, if any, do you see the Mets making now for the rest of this offseason? You know, they've already had a great winter, adding Lindor and James McCann, Carrasco, Trevor May. Uh, I think, you know, you certainly think about them going out and looking at another starter. Uh, Jake Odorizzi, Taiwan Walker, James Paxton are the names that come to mind. Uh, they don't need a number one. They don't need a guy to lead their rotation. They have Jacob deGrom. They have Marcus Stroman, who they brought back on a one-year deal. They've got Noah Syndergaard coming back midseason from Tommy John. So adding, you know, sort of another number two, number three type starter, I think could be in the mix. And I think also looking at the outfield, Jackie Bradley Jr.'s name keeps coming up as a, a guy that they could be interested in. Uh, Marvin Gonzalez could be a good fit hmm. could play some outfield, could back up in the infield. Uh, so I think there are some moves to still make. To me, the biggest move for them to make this offseason before opening day is to extend Francisco Lindor and make sure that he's going to be in a Mets uniform for a long time. That was going to be my next question here, Mark. Talking about Lindor, who, of course, is a free agent at the end of this coming season, there are some other names on this roster that are soon to be free agents. So they don't land Trevor Bauer, but now how can they use this disappointment or this move to pivot and begin that the focus of trying to re-sign some of their soon-to-be free agents. Yeah, I mean, Lindor is the number one priority, and Michael Conforto is probably close behind as a number two. Uh, I think trying to get those guys locked up is probably going to be something they're going to try to do. Lindor in particular, you don't acquire a guy like Lindor without the idea of locking him up long term. Obviously, Steve Cohen has the financial wherewithal to do so, uh, to lock him up. I expect they'll get a deal done, and you'll see Lindor in a Mets uniform for a very long time. Syndergaard's also a free agent. I think coming off of the surgery, they're going to wait, see what he looks like, and obviously if he looks like the, the Thor of old, uh, you know, they'll, they'll do what they can to bring him back after the year. That's our Mark Feinstein with the Mets perspective on a Friday where we learn Trevor Bauer is headed to the Dodgers. Great stuff as always, Mark. Thanks. Thank you.